friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's tutorial, we are going to be using my Iridescent Brush Magic Studio um, to create some really cool iridescent calligraphic brush strokes. And even if you don't have the set, you can still pick up some pointers. And I'll have a special freebie um, available for everyone down below. So make sure you check it out. So um, yeah, I haven't had a lot of time to play around with my iridescent brushes like I would have liked to. And there's so many cool things you can do with them. And I'm also in the uh, process of updating them. So you guys can stay tuned because I'm gonna have a really nice update coming up. But in this one, we're gonna use the wet paint Photoshop mixer brushes. And um, just to start with, I grabbed one of my gradients and you can see all my different gradients that I've created already um, in this package. And so if you want to apply any of the gradients to make a background, you just simply drag them. You can drag them onto the canvas or you can drag them onto your layer. And if I wanna change them, you know, I can just take them and I drag them. But that looks good. Um, I forget which one I grabbed but I'm just gonna go back to the original one that I had because I liked that. And if you ever wanna modify the layer, double click on the icon and then you can play with the angle here or actually move it around. So that's really nice, but that's good enough. So I'm gonna create a new layer over this. And for this demo, I'm gonna use my wet paint brushes that came with my iridescent collection. And at the end, like brush nine through 12 are all calligraphic. So I'm gonna go over here to my pen tablet and just kind of show you a demo. So this, they have various layers of hardness and blend and, and they come preloaded with a, with some colors in them. But I also um, have these palettes that you can use that have a bunch of colors so that, um, you know, all in a little palette so you can pick them up and have instant fun. So these are the last four brushes and they're calligraphic and you can have a lot of fun with them. You can make lettering, you can make just some calligraphic abstract brush strokes with them. And as you can see, some have more blending going on. Some have kind of a halo effect on the edges, but we're going to use brush number 11 and I'm just going to select that. Let's delete our canvas. And we'll pop over here into the brush tab and you can make your own brushes. This is simply, you know, a simple kind of a round shape. And I put the hardness on 75. I have it at an angle and I made it more narrow. And for the shape dynamics, I have the pen pressure controlling here with a minimum diameter of 24%. So, you know, you can make these by yourself. I just have them pre-made as part of my collection um, so that you can just pick it up and start creating and you don't have to go through all the fuss. And so I'm gonna go over here. I've got my brush and it comes loaded with colors, but um, if you change the size, those colors will drop out. So you need a palette. And I'm just gonna go here to my palette and I'm going to option or if you're on a PC alt, click while I'm hovering over this one, palette 31, that looks cool. And now I have that palette loaded up into my brush and I've got these really lovely bright colors and I love them. And so you can have a lot of fun with these calligraphic brush strokes. And now notice, you can see some kind of like, I don't have this headiest, steadiest hand. So one thing that I normally do is I'll take the um, up here, the brush smoothing and I'll put it like up by like 80% or something like that. So that makes your brush strokes really smoother. So you can make some really cool digital backgrounds. Um, you know, just have a lot of fun with them. You can do a lot of cool things. Um, and one thing that I'm going to show you, um, is I, I like sometimes I have one brush stroke that looks cool. You know, you could do a lot of fun things with this. I'm gonna create a new layer underneath that layer and pop over here to my pattern stamp tool. And I'm going to grab, um, I think the same palette and sparkle brush number 18. And underneath that layer, just add some really, some cool kind of little stars. How fun is that? So rainbow bright. So, 
I don't know, just fun, colorful, happy, and um, with how everything is right now, that just makes me happy. So you can have some fun with that. And if you, um, I'll link down below if I'm going too fast, because you can um, go, I explain things more in detail on my tutorial playlists. So let's go back to my mixer brush and I'll just show you, you can make some really fun lettering and stuff. Like you can make some kind of monograms or I'm just, and I'm not a lettering artist by any means, but you can make some, oops, I'm gonna take this all the way up to the 100 for the letters cause I need all the help I can get. So, you know, you can just have some fun, make like a T or play around. So, you know, you can make some awesome things, super fun or kind of like fade the, the stroke and kind of play with that kind of like a paintbrush ending. Or you can, let's see here, just find a short word and just, you know, you can just make your things like this, make some letters like this and it looks cool. It looks three dimensional. Um, it looks like it might have been more hard, but it's not really. And I'm not really having a big plan with the, the text here that says fun. You know, just have some fun with it, play around, make some cool lettering. And then um, underneath it, you know, you can just kind of draw some sparkles and have fun and accent your design like this. So, that's just a little fun with those calligraphic iridescent brushes. Um, if you have questions, let me know. I will link to the um, iridescent playlist uh, down below. And also, I'll have a surprise digital background that you can download for free below. And um, you can use that even on commercial work, just not items for sale. So use it on your cards, social media graphics, all those kind of fun things. And stay tuned for more tutorials.